Okay, so we've created a project, we've associated that project with a client, and we've actually recorded some hours spent working on that project. So now let's take a look at how we can turn those hours that we've recorded into an invoice. Before we do that, however, I just want to mention that I'm back on my FreshBooks home screen, and because we've started tracking some time, there's a new widget that's been added to my home screen, and that is the Team Activity widget. So I can see the amount of hours that all of my employees, including myself, have logged thus far in the month. So you can see Anton Alexander has logged eight hours so far. If I had more team members that had also logged hours, they would be listed here as well. So that's a good way to take a look at your team's productivity. If you've got two team members and they're supposed to be working the same amount of hours every week and there's some differentiation here in the team activity widget, then you might want to have a talk with one of them. Maybe one's working too much, maybe one's not working enough, uh, but it's definitely a great way to see what's going on within your organization. So now let's go ahead and let's talk about creating an invoice from a timesheet. So I'm going to go back over here to the time tracking section. And you'll see that we've got our timesheet, our projects, our tasks, our team timesheets, all of these sections we've already looked at in this video series. The last one remaining is the generate invoice one. And that's the one that you like to click a lot because that means you're making a lot of money, right? So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to click generate invoice. And you'll notice that I get the option to specify a date range for this invoice. So that's optional, but we'll just say it's for the month of May. We'll just say May 1st to May 8th. We'll say it's for the first week here in May. The client is for company ABC. That's the, our only option because that's the only client we currently have here in FreshBooks. And now you'll see that the projects we've created for this client show up in a drop down here and it tells us how many unbilled hours we have. So this is, it's doing it automatically for us. And this is why so many small businesses like using FreshBooks because it makes things so easy. And even though you might be spending a little bit more time doing things up front in terms of creating the project, when it comes to invoicing for that project, it makes things so much easier. I know there are a lot of you out there that are, are bewildered at the end of the month when you've got to get all your staff and contractors to tell you how much time they've spent on each project for each client and you've got a spreadsheet out there and, and there's discrepancies. Well, this solves all those problems. So. We're going to go ahead and we're just going to check the checkbox for all the unbilled time that we want to add to this invoice. We can choose how we want this invoice to look. We can have the detailed view, which is where every time entry appears as a single line item. So if you've got a project where you've logged time a hundred different times on it, maybe that's a little much. Um, so you could group the invoice by team member, task, or both. So you could have all of the work that one team member has done in one line item on an invoice, or maybe all of the work that has been done on a particular task is one line item. That's the one that I like to do because sometimes I have clients that don't even know everybody who's, who's working for me. So if I group it by team member, they're going to be like, well, who's this guy? I, I, I didn't ask him to do work. I was asking Anson Alexander to do work. So I like to group it by item. So for, to do that, I actually uncheck this team member checkbox so that their name comes off. And you'll notice it came off right here in the line item. I took that off. The date range, I'll leave that usually. That's good information for the client. Definitely want the task and the project name. So you can see this is adding it to our invoice automatically for us. We're not going to have to type that information. Alternatively, if you did not want your invoice separated by tasks at all, you could group all the work that's been done on this project from May 1st to the 8th as one single line. So that's up to you. I'm going to choose the grouped method without team member included for this example, as I think that's probably the most common way to do this. And then down here at the bottom, if you have any unbilled expenses, you can have them automatically added to this invoice. Everything's automatic here in FreshBooks. It all links together. It's great. You could only add expenses for this project which is probably what you want to do. Or you could say, you know what, I bill them all at once for their expenses at the end of the month. This is just for the time we spent this week. In this invoice, I don't want to include any expenses. But like I say, I think only expenses for selected projects is probably the best way to go. And then when you're done, you can go ahead and hit the Create Invoice button. You'll notice 
that it takes us to this new invoice screen. We've got the client already selected. The invoice number is the next number in line. We've got the date. We can choose our PayPal or not like we did earlier in this video series. And then you can see right down here, we've got an invoice that is separated by tasks. So each task is a line item. We've got the hours build for that task. And then we can go in here and we can add the hourly rate because we specified that we wanted to charge tasks in this project for the hourly rate of the employee and I haven't entered an hourly rate for myself yet. Um, so that's why that's no, not showing up automatically. If however we had said when we created this project that we want to bill based on the hourly rate of that specific task, it would have put it in automatically for us. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to choose 30 for the research and 35 for copyright. Again, if we had set up our project slightly differently, we wouldn't have had to enter that information. It's always good to double check on your invoice, however. And you can see it does the math for us, and we've got an invoice total of $255. Our default terms are displayed. We could go ahead and add any notes that we want to add, and then send this invoice by email or snail mail, or just save it as a draft. I'll hit save as a draft for now. So you can see in this chapter of the video series, we created a project. We assigned some tasks to that project. We logged some hours, and then directly from the hours that we logged, we created a new invoice for our client specifically based on the time spent working on a particular project. So this is super, super valuable for small businesses that have a few people working for them, need time recorded, and then would like to directly bill their clients based on the time their team members spent working on a project.